Hello, my name is Zebra with Zoom, and in this quick video, I will show you how to set up trip line and intrusion detection on our new GB series with AI functions. So let's get started. So the new GB series with AI functions specifically focuses on vehicles and humans. Uh, more specifically, there's a new technology called SIP, S-I-P, which stands for Smart Intrusion Prevention, which significantly reduces false alarm caused by leaves, birds, and lights and focuses mostly on humans and vehicles. So it's very simple to set up. The first thing you gotta do is go to the main menu. First, you need to make sure your camera is AI on the model number. Next, you will go to the VCA. On the A channel, the VCA is on the left-hand side. On the four channel, you need to click on alarm and you'll see VCA on one of these tabs. So on VCA, you search for cross line detection, click on the gear icon, and here is where you'll be able to set up all your settings. So the first thing is we're going to click on here to draw our line. We're going to draw a line here. And here you get to select your trigger detection, your sensitivity, your priority, depending on all the other four options that you have. You can set the priority, which one's more pro like priority to you and what you want to focus on either motor vehicle non-motor vehicle or pedestrian for the purpose of this video i'm just going to click pedestrian since we do have a lot of vehicles moving in the back it will be going off a lot here in the trigger actions you can select if you want the buzzer to go off an email or a pop-up window to go off anytime there's a trigger also make sure you select the same camera here we're working on camera one so make sure you select camera one and click ok once you do this make sure you click ok here at the bottom to apply the settings under arming and schedule in advance, you don't have to mess with any of that. Um, you can leave it as is. So let's click click apply and we click exit. So a very important step is to click here on this little box. This little box is what enables the cross line detection. So once we have all of this set up, we are going to wait for the trigger, have someone walk by. And as you can see, as soon as they walk that little line, we got the cross line detection. So one thing I do want to point out is on the GV series, unlike our older um, series with uh, Zoom, the, the trip line does not appear on the screen. And there's no way to enable that at the time. So the only time you'll, you'll be able to see your trip line is when you're actually setting it up here. But on the actual screen, on live view, you won't be able to see it. So that's just a quick pointer. And in case you want to see any playback on your cross line that was detected, you'll just have to click on VCA search, go to behavior search, and here you get to select the camera you want, the start time, and the end time, the event. You can either spe specify if you want cross line, or you can just leave it as off, and the object type in case you want to focus on human, vehicle, or non-motor non vehicle. Once you have all of this set up, I'll just leave it at the 18 today. You can just click search. And you can see everything pops up. And this is the, the latest one that we did right now. So you can see, see it gives us a quick clip of what happened, the, the what was detected, and the type of event which was cross line. If we go back, we can also do specific for motor vehicle. So you guys can see that it also detects it. You can see we have the motor vehicle and that, that was the vehicle that just drove by earlier. And that's how you set up cross line de detection. To set up intrusion detection, we need to turn this one off, go to intrusion, and it's the exact same way. Uh, you just draw the area that you want to focus on. And once you do that, you have your sensitivity your priority and your object. Make sure here on the trigger actions, in case you want a pop-up window, you select the channel that you're working on. Click apply and okay. And at the bottom as well, click apply and exit and just make sure you enable this. And that's how simple it is. All, all of cross line and intrusion, you set them up the exact same way. Very simple, the, the same way on their search. It's the same way to search for um, cross line intrusion, they, they all work the same way. I hope this video helps you out. 
Thanks for watching.